fire on Pointy Pandy Mountain. There's a fire on Pointy Pandy Mountain! The forest trails are too small for Jupiter. We'll need to take Venus. Dampened it down, Penny, so we could do with some backup. Hang on, Sam. I'm on my way. I'm sorry, Sam. We got a bit carried away making the giant bear and... Just remember to keep your wicker animals a safe distance from your campfire and your campfire a safe distance from your tents. You two should have known better. Yes, yes Sam. Sam. Congratulations, everyone. You all get your bushcraft badges. <laughs> Hooray! And James gets a special fire marshal badge for spotting the blaze. Yay! <laughs> Well, at least we managed to break the record for the world's tallest wicker bear. Although it is lying down. And on fire. We could always make another one. After all, we, we are, are the, the wild men of Pundy Pandy. I was afraid they were going to say that. Me too, Trevor. <laughs> Me too. There's no need to panic, everyone. Move to the back of the train and stay calm! Look out, Sam! Um, I'll get out your side, Sam. Penny, time for plan B. Roger that, Sam. Faster, Ben. Roger that, Penny. Tom, are you there? We're going to need Wallaby One. On the way. I don't like out of control trains that are on fire. Do something, Normaxo. Okay. Um, Normaxo will phone Mom. I'll call my alien buddies to fly in and rescue us on our interstellar communication device. That's your shoe, Norman? Norman, this isn't the time to... Shh, I'm on a call. Fly us above the train, Tom. No worries, Sam. Normaxo, look! Your phone call worked! It's a UFO. UFO? Alien! Huh? Norman? Shh! I'm hiding from the aliens. Sorry, Sam. We'll have to head back to the rescue center till this blizzard blows over. There's just too much snow. That's it. Snow. Drop me off here, Tom. Nice one, Sam. Totally epic. 
It's an alien on the roof! Keeping the fireworks? Those things could go up like a rocket! There's a fire in the tent. Well, they're keeping the fireworks. We need you back here now, Sam. Roger that, sir. Keep back, everyone. Those fireworks could go off at any moment. Mike, what have you done? Oh, I know. Ooh. Penny, you keep the fireworks boxes hosed down. Yeah. I'll tackle the rest of the fire. Looks like this tatty old board was the cause of the fire. That was my masterpiece. I'm thinking that might have had something to do with the fire. I'm sorry. I was trying to dry the paint quickly with my heater. Well, you need to be much more careful about where you set up your heater, Mike. Especially around fireworks. Sorry, Sam. Are the fireworks okay? Well, these ones are a bit soggy. But I'm sure we can get some more in time for tonight's display. It took me ages to paint that board. Don't worry, love. Why don't you just go get the one from last year? Well, that's it. Better close up for the night. <gasps> Norman Price! Those coconuts were glued down? <gasps> no wonder poor Trevor couldn't knock them off! Oh, dearies. Oh, oh, Trevor, look at your big muscles. <laughs> oh, well, that's over for another year, Sam. It was less trouble than last time. It's not huh? fair. Sarah's pizza's bigger than mine. <laughs> my head's stuck. <gasps> Just dropped the hammer on my foot, eh? <laughs> keep walking, Penny. Just keep walking. of the show, not you. But James hasn't turned up. Ta-da! Ah, oh, oh, stupid flippers. Ah, oh. <laughs> My water lilies. My heron. My scenery. We'd better call Fireman Sam. Fire at the pool. The froggy fantasy has burst into flames. There's a fire at the pool. The froggy fantasy has burst into flames. We'll meet you there, Arnold. We'll drive Venus and Jupiter down. That won't be quick enough. Tom, you'll need to winch me up. On a way, Sam. To the pool! James? James? Oh, no! Here comes Tom! And Fireman Sam! Stand back, everyone! Sam! We can't find James! He didn't do his froggy finale and he's, he's not... He's locked in the change rooms! 
What? How did that happen? I wanted to be the star of the show, so I glued the door shut. <gasps> I'm really sorry, Fireman Sam. I didn't know there was going to be a fire. Never mind that now, Norman. We need to rescue him, and we haven't got any fire engines here. Oh, no! What have I done? Tom, I've got a plan. I need you back here right now. I'm heading for the changing rooms. They're not on fire yet, but they soon will be. Are you ready? Nearly, Sam. Just loaded up. Help! Help! Oh. It's all right, James. Stand back. No! Uncle Sam! Hey. I've got you. Don't worry. Tom, are you ready? We're there, Sam. Elvis. Okay, Tom. <laughs> I've got it all under control. We're safe, everyone, but the fire's still burning. Tom, more water. We'll use the hoses, too. Happy to announce, Radar is 100% happy and healthy. Hooray! <laughs> I'm still a bit confused, Lizzie. Why has Radar been under the weather lately? I have no idea. Well done, boy. You deserve your favorite chocolatey treat. <gasps> no, Elvis. Chocolate can make dogs really ill. Have you been giving them lots of chocolate treats? Well, uh, no. Yes, maybe a few. Mystery solved. Huh? Oh! Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Penny, you and I will go in Venus. Elvis, call in Tom with the helicopter. Roger that, Sam. Go get him, boy. I'm proud of you. I see him, boy. Oh, oh dear. Gotcha. You have to be much more careful, Trevor. You could have been badly injured. You're right, Sam. I think my tree climbing days are over. It's my fault you were in the tree in the first place, Trevor. I'm so sorry. We just needed to find the fox. The fox? So sorry, Mom. I forgot that you told me that the fox was a wild animal, because I thought it looked like a dog, and I opened the cage to feed it, and it escaped. You mean that fox? <gasps> yes, that one. Me and Norman tried to find it, but we couldn't find it anywhere, and... It's back? He found his own way home. Looks like he knew when his feeding time was. Well, it looks like everybody's happy. Does that mean that nothing was actually my fault? Wait a minute. You said that some foxes were just like dogs. Uh, well, maybe that one wasn't. Or, uh, maybe I was thinking about some other animal. Wolves, uh, uh, pandas, fish, unicorns! <laughs> <laughs> Norman, what are you doing? My dad said it wasn't ready. I'm just testing it. What's wrong? Scaredy can't bounce as high as me. Of course I'm not, but... Come on then, Mandy. Prove it. All right, I will. <laughs> Woohoo! Sing my songs till I think I'll burst But I never forget that I'm a fireman first I'm a 
to rock and I love to swing. But the thing I love best is when the fire bell ring. A ding-a-ling, a ding-a-ling, and just one more verse. Everybody knows that I'm a fireman first. Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Castle heading north, northwest, Sam. Roger that, Ben. This is all your fault, Norman Price. We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sink? Oh, no, not you again. Shoot, shoot! Huh? No, no, stop that. Get off! <laughs> Hang on, Mandy. Hang on, Norman. I'm slipping. <laughs> Thank you, Fireman Sam. Thank you, Elvis. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Island first. Over. Where are we going, Dad? We can help them find Tom. His ability is worse than I thought. And the current is quite strong. Boat engines. I'm here! Hello! I'm here! I'm, I'm over here! Nothing's coming up on radar. Tom's dinghy may be too small to show up. Just keep your eyes and ears open, everybody. I can't hear me. Oh! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! What? <sighs> what I give to be back in my helicopter! Wind is northwest. The tide turns in three hours. Plus, there's a spring current running. Mm, there. That's where Tom should be. And Sam is searching over here, in the wrong place. The wrong place? Sam? Come in, Sam. Charlie, we're listening. You need to change course. Tom should be west of Ponty Pandy Island and a lot further out from shore. Are you absolutely sure, Charlie? I've fished here for years, Sam. I'm as sure as any Ponty Pandy fisherman can be. Penny, Ben, you heard Charlie. Let's change course. Roger that, Sam. Hang on, kids. <laughs> really do. Oh, I'm not sure how much longer I can hang on for. Uh, an engine? It's, it's a boat. Hey! Hey! Yes! Hey, beauties! Oh, you found me! There you go, Tom! Oh, thanks, guys. I thought I'd have to swim for it. It's Charlie you need to thank. He told us where to find you. Ahoy there! Thanks, Charlie. If it wasn't for you, I I'd still be up there, mate. You're a legend. I guess something went right today after all. <laughs> Our dad is the best. He's the coolest dad ever. All those who agree, sound your horns. <laughs> Everyone, 
everyone. Gather in close. I don't know what Sam was talking about. We're easy to photograph. Cheese! Are we ready? Fireman Sam, standing by, sir. Firefighter Phillips, standing by. Firefighter McKinley, standing by. Firefighter Morris, standing by. One will be one, standing by. Well, this is relaxing. Right. On with the show. Uh, uh hello, Ponty Pandy. Well done, Elvis. Oh, yes. W well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> yes. Right. All clear, everyone. Back to the station. Bye. Well, I just hope Mike does as well as me. Hello, Putty Pandy. I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band, the Strum Master 2000. Ta-da! That's the place I know where people say hello! Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be! Turn it up all the way, Joe! Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear! Oh, no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that! Dad! You need to stop! Someone needs to call! Fireman Sam! Oh. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire! Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury! <laughs> Ellie, Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Roger that, Sam. Power's off, Sam! I don't think the Strum Master 2000 will make it to his solo. Everyone, move back. Yes, you all need to be at least 5.5 yards back for maximum safety. for Tom's helicopter. I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. Will anyone find us, Granddad? Don't worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. Oh, 
Hold it there, Penny. I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. <gasps> it's Uncle Sam! Come in, Elvis. I found them, and I'm bringing them down. Roger that, Sam. I'll bring Saturn back. <laughs> Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Elvis, bring Saturn. My Norman's downstream! They're in the water! Uh, downstream! The dogs. Trevor ate my sausage rolls! <laughs> Stay calm! We'll find him! I'm launching Saturn! Now! Elvis. Norman is safe, but I can't see the dog. Saturn's found Lady Pufflepaws. She's heading towards the ocean. We can't reach her in time. We can, if we take a shortcut. <laughs> Get ready, Penny. <laughs> Come in, Elvis. Lady Pufflepaws is safe, well, ooh, and very licky. Norman, you know, if pets are in danger, owners should never try to save them. Always call a rescue service. And never play near water unless an adult is there to watch you. I'm sorry. But you did show you cared. Maybe you are ready to have a dog of your own. No way. Dogs are naughty. You tell them one thing, they do another. And they're always getting into trouble. Sounds like someone else I know. Come in, Penny. Steel here. I, I love my new desk. But why is there a slide in the lounge area? I thought we could keep the slide. We'll remove it immediately, sir. Ah, uh, oh, ah. Uh. Yes, you may have to remove me first. For you to get out and enjoy sausages. Uh, sausages? There are sausages in this box. <gasps> we took the wrong box. So where is Mr. Penguin? So what's it to be? Rainy day in Rio? Mm. Or ocean breeze over Canada? Mm. Oh, I'll use them both. I'll just unpack that box. Then I can go and stuff Trevor's peppers. <laughs> I wonder what's in this one. Ah! Ah! Oh! oh no! My scented candles! Oh no! Fire! Oh! The door's blocked! Too many boxes! I'll need to go upstairs! Ah! Oh dear! 
never carried a penguin upstairs before. But I suppose there's a first time for everything. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. We'll enjoy the meal with Dillis. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. Oh, why did I say yes? Uh, she'll only do those stuffed peppers again. Oh, no. Help! Oh, I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. Ah, you're back. How did it go? We didn't find one. What? A fire hydrant? No, a waddly penguin. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and Dylan Price and the penguin are trapped upstairs. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and Dylan Price and a penguin are trapped upstairs? Yeah. Back. Ellie and Arnold, you take Venus. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Penny, Elvis, we'll go in Jupiter. Do you think it could be the same penguin, Sam? Chances are pretty high, Elvis. Worry, Norman. Sam is on his way. Ellie, we'll fight the fire. Elvis and Penny, you get Dillis and the penguin. Firefighter Phyllis. Firefighter Sam. Air 100%. It's the Waddly Penguin! Quickly, Elvis! <laughs> Hello, Waddly Penguin! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, he smells all fishy! If you're stuck, give him a shout! He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way for fire. 